Supreme Leader So I heard the Supreme Leader is hosting a party tonight. Do you know what time does the party starts? No, but I think he'll be announcing it. Hmm. I guess he'll be announcing it in 15 minutes. Okay. Stupid teacher. What's wrong with him? He got suspended. Oh. Alright, so now all I have to do is finish making that, make sure the characters are organized, and yep, that's it for now. Alright. Um, Sabrina and Ray Marco? Oh, hey, Mr. Gray. What brings you here? Would I be staying today to look after the kids who got suspended? Mm-mm. You most definitely don't have to. Oh, you sure? I have a parent-teacher conference with Axel Adams. Yes, I know. Get some rest. I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Supreme Leader. You're welcome. Also, you don't need to call me Supreme Leader. It just seems weird you calling me that even though you're older than me. A lot older than me, in fact. I'm only 18 and you're 64, so... That doesn't add up. I guess you have a point. But I am a fictional character. Yeah, I know. But that's not the point. It's to teach kids to respect their elders. Oh, okay. Well, hello there, Axel. Me and the principal were just talking about respect. Alright, I'll be going. Good day. Axel, let's talk. So, you were talking back to Mr. Gray. Why? What happened? So he told me to stand for the pledge, right? And I told him no. Because he called me a weird kid. Oh. Yes, he did. And even if he wasn't going to call me that, I still wouldn't stand for the pledge. Yeah, I can relate to the pledge part, but you had to curse him out and make a disability joke? He had it coming. You know, revenge isn't always the best solution. Look where you're at now. I'm supposed to be calling your parents, but I decided to just give you a warning. And I'll talk to Gray about name calling. Alright? And just take a different approach on things and see how it works. All right. I'm holding a party tonight. You plan on coming? No. Got things to do. Okay. Well, you're always welcomed. Thanks. Mario, hurry. You're going to be late. Supreme Leader Ray Marco's first novel gathering is about to start. How many minutes? Five minutes. Oh, shoot. All right. Bye, Rosalina. Love you. Bye, Mario. Love you, too. Four minutes. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I have an idea. Shadow, you plan on going to tonight's party? Yes. I'll be closing the restaurant today. We can all eat there. Race will be announced at the party in a few. So, we better get there. Alright, let's move. Mario? What does he want? Mario, what's up? Sorry, but can you please teleport me to Novel World? I'm here on my planet. You are literally more than a billion light years away. You want me to bring you here to Earth? Yes, I'm almost late. Oh, and remember, Supreme Leader Ray Marco gave you far distant teleportation, and I'm a Nova Legendary. Can you help him? Fine. I'll be there shortly. Thank you so much. I'll meet you down there. Chaos Control! <laughs> Now, Charmy, you better stay quiet while Ray's speaking. Yeah, you better stay quiet! I don't need a tickle of you telling you what to do! Well, we both wouldn't have to be telling you if you wasn't so silly. 
All right, I'm ready. Where's Mario? Mario, huh? You came just in time. Now go ahead and line up with Sonic and Rise Star. Am I first in line? Yes, just like the novel. Okie dokie. Alright everyone listen up. Ray Marco's getting ready to take the stand. Everyone inside Novel gather around. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Side Novel. Some of you may know me and some of you don't. So let me introduce myself. My name is Ray Marco and I am your creator of this fictional reality. I come from the fourth wall. Something only I have access to. Now why, you may ask? That's because I am from the fourth wall. A lot of you are aware that Psy Novel is nothing but an imagination. Psy Novel is my imagination. And that's that. Now that's all for the introduction. Now, where is Supreme Leader M, you may ask? Well, he has no affiliation with Psy Novel. That's because, again, Psy Novel is my imagination. He didn't come up with side novel. I did. The novel is something we both made up. So yeah, now that announcement is done. Now, side novel 2 has novel legends. Alright guys, let's go. Oh, I wish I can be a novel legend. Novel legends are chosen by main characters only. Hey, shut up you two. Hmm. Now I'll be introducing the side novel legends. Up first, we have Super Mario! Side novel legend Super Mario. Do you have any words to say? Yes, I do. It is a pleasure to be a side novel legend for side novel. And I thank all my friends that support me here on side novel. And beyond the fourth wall, thank you all. And thank you, Supreme Leader. Ah, you're welcome, Mario. Remember, you were born before me. <laughs> Next up, we have side novel legend Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey everyone, Sonic here, fastest thing alive, also a novel legend, glad to be, and thank you. Next up, side novel legend Rise Star. <laughs> and last but not least, side novel legend Pac Man. Thank you, I'm the Pac Star. Now that's all the side novel legends. Now, there is one more side novel legend, and he would be the star legend, but I personally choose not to reveal him. That is because he is not ready for the public. He wants to be visible, but I can't show him yet. You all will only see a silhouette of him. Only a few of you watching this beyond the fourth wall will know who I'm talking about. For an example, the voice actors of Sally and Amy. So don't worry about him. I'll be taking care of the Star Legend. So, yeah. And the last announcement. Tonight, I'll be holding my first side novel party. The party will be just like the novel, except Supreme Little M isn't involved. So make sure Mrs. Pac-Man bring your famous butter knots and those who have business in restaurants. The party starts at 6 p.m. All are welcome, and I'll meet you all there. Thank you, everyone. You all are dismissed. So, what do you have to say about Ray mentioning your voice actress? I mean, it's nice, but I wish I was a legend. Amy, you're ungrateful sometimes. Ray, shut up! That's quite strange. He's the principal and creator. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey there, Lindsay. Oh, hi. You're going to the party? Yeah. How about you? I am. Oh, this is my sister, Emily. Hey Emily, I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. Are you going to? Maybe. Alrighty then, I guess I'll be seeing you tonight. Alright, bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. You two will make a cute couple. <laughs> we just met yesterday. Music down. It's too loud! What's this? Turn the music down! It's too loud! 
sorry, sis. I can't hear you. Well, the music is really loud. The way I like it. <laughs> Turn it down! What the upstairs neighbor will? Hey, y'all better turn that music down. Man, upstairs neighbor is complaining! Man, did you hear it? Man! Uh, man, turn it down! Turn that music down. Y'all better be out of your mind. Sorry! My speaker's messed up. They would have been fine if you would have listened to me. You're so stubborn sometimes. Who's that on the phone? It's Sonic! Hey, Sonic! Hey, Sonia! Did you get the news about the party leaders holding? Yes, I did! I'll be going! How about Manic? Manic, are you going to the party? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he is. Great! I for sure will be there. Novel legends are required to go. Also, tell Manic not to bring those stupid drumsticks. Shoot! Alright! I'll make sure you won't. Alright, Sonic, bye. Bye. You heard him, Manic. Bullcrap. Manic, watch your mouth. Yeah, it is at 6 o'clock. You'll be there. Alright, I'll meet you there. Remember, it's on Nava Lurps, located on side of Island. Alright, bye. Incoming call from Creator Ray Marco. Hello? Hey, I'm on my way to Planet Irma. I should be there in a few. You should be able to look up and see the spaceship in the sky. Alright. What happened? You need to tell me something? Yes, I do. Hmm, why can't you just tell me now? Oh, I can easily tell you now. I decided to go to your planet just for an excuse to add more to the episode. True, that makes sense. The spaceship is starting to descend. So we'll be talking. Alright, meet you there. So here's the deal. Because you are my creation, it will be just not right to include you in the first sign of a party. So wait a minute, you're gonna reveal me? No, I'm gonna disguise you. Okay, so how will you do that? I'll keep a black blur on you. You will be able to speak, eat, and so on. Just people watching beyond the fourth wall won't be able to see you. Otherwise, people you see will be able to see you. It wouldn't be so much of a problem if they weren't thieves. You can say that again. So, can anyone else here on Irma come? I mean, yes, but they won't have any appearances. Alright. So be ready. You and the other novel legends will be on Novel Earth, located on Sidon of Island. You will be the last novel legend to arrive. After that, I'll be arriving. Alright, sounds like a plan. All right, see you there. What's that cheese? Oh, don't worry. We're going to find your stuff. By the way, what's in that bag? Chaos Emerald? Since when did you find a Chaos Emerald? Chaos! Wow! This is Side Central Street. This is an orange line train to 100 East. Available transfers to red, yellow, green, and blue line trains. This is our stop cheese. Let's go! Chaos! Doors closing. Why do I even still have this bag? I have the Chaos Emerald now, so I might as well give it back to that stupid child. Here, Rabbit Girl. Here. Huh? You should take better care of that child. Did you know I had a chaos emerald? Eggman, what are you up to? That's none of your concern. Take better care of that child. 
or something bad could seriously happen. You don't want this emerald skin in the wrong hands. Well, see you later, rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Charmy, go start packing up the dough. Sure, ain't even you better. You sure you can trust on picking up anything? No, I don't trust him. But we're the only ones working here. So we need all the help we can get. Charmy, make sure you don't drop anything. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Charmy, I just told you not to drop anything. I'll clean up. No, no, no! Just get in the truck! It's me and I will handle it! Mm, now we're about to be late. Let's hurry up and get out of here! Roger. Hey back man. Hey guys. <laughs> Sorry to cut across you. My name isn't allowed to be said. Oh really? Why? Fourth wall reasons. Oh. Alright everyone listen up. Make way for the side novel legends and the supreme leader. Alright guys, let's go. Alright everyone. Welcome to the first side novel party. All are welcome. I am very glad to hold this for the first time. Everything we provide will be free. That includes food, entertainment, clothing, supplies, and even housing tickets. Everything. Anyways, everyone have fun. Enjoy yourself. And yeah, carry on. Miss Pac-Man, where are them lots at? Let's get this party started. Manic, I told you not to bring those drumsticks. Manic! Did you tell him what I told him earlier? Yeah, I did! He's stubborn! I'll talk to him. Get right up and get your pizza! Hey, Vec, look. I still got my drumsticks. Oh, wow. You really kept up with them. I'm a very responsible person. Yeah, you are. Manic! Shoot, I gotta go. I'll be responsive enough to handle what your brother's going to tell you. Don't tell him where I'm at. I won't. Thanks a ton. Hey, it's less a pizza. Manic! Where's Manic? He went that way. Thanks. Manic! All right. Very nice of you. There she goes. I see you looking at her. Oh, hey, bro. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just chilling. You heard about the U.S. president shutting down the government? Yeah, I did. That's crazy. And I think he's doing this because he wants a wall. Is he really that serious? Apparently. Hey, if anything, I'm glad I'm a fictional character because I heard Leader's life is completely different than ours. And by that, I mean he has to deal with some things he wishes never should have existed. Wow. How do you know all this? I really don't. He writes the scripts. Wow. Yeah, well, relationship won't start on his own. Go get her, Tiger. All right, there you go. Oh, hello there. Hi, so you're the Supreme Leader, right? Yes, that's me. Aren't you also the principal for Naval Central High School? Yes, I am. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, who might this be? This is my little brother, Augie. Say hi, Augie. Hello. Well, hello there, Augie. What brings you here today? I love the food, and I get to meet Mario. Okay, I'll make sure you meet Mario. Hey, Mario, you have a fan. Ah, but it's over. He's right over there. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, wow, hello, Mr. Mean. Hey, Leroy. How's everything? You know the answer to that question. 
Of course I do. So what brings you here today? Decided to come to your first party. I might have missed the first novel party, but I sure as ever not missing the first sign of a party. That makes sense, and I of course couldn't let your activity completely disappear. Yeah, although I've noticed you and your brother have been very absent on a novel lately. In fact, for about two years. Mind if I ask why? Yeah, about that. You see, me and my brother are completely different people than we were that time ago. Um, yeah. I'm 19 as I write and record this line, and he's 17. So yeah, we're both adults now. Not saying because we matured, we stopped the novel. I'm saying life responsibilities got in the way, making us lose interest on continuing the novel. But I have to admit, partial is because we matured. Wow, that's kind of sad. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. We'll be fine. Is there anything I can do to cheer you up a bit? Yes, actually. I want you to sing the song. The song? What song? Oh no! I have regrets making that song! Please. Fine! Where's the stage? Follow me. Alright everyone, may I have your attention please? So everyone, I have a special guest and he will be performing something I used to sing with Supreme Little M back in the novel days. Now remember, he's a changed man now, so don't hate him. So, I don't know what else I can say, but let me introduce you to one of my favorite Johnny Test characters, Mr. Henry Teacher Man! Hey everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you! So today I'm here to perform one of my songs. In fact, one of my only songs. Oh no, not that song. See, there's nothing else I can say. Here it is! Da 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 Dookie Restaurant, they're better than croissants. Dookie Restaurant, Dookie Restaurant. What's that? A restaurant with many kinds of it. Some thick and thin. This is real Dookie Restaurant. My great buffet rated five stars. Every single day, everything is free Forever, so let's go Welcome to my Dookie Restaurant 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 Government Try to stop But they fail all the time. The Dookie Restaurant. 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 Da 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 da. Better than croissants. Dookie Restaurant. Dookie Restaurant. And now that you love my restaurant. Have your best fun. This is my eye. Dookie restaurant. 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 Dookie da da dookie da da. Dookie restaurant. 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 Thank you all and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Alright everyone, at this time, I'm on my way back to the fourth wall. I have things to take care of, so yeah. Thank you all who came, and be sure to get home safe. So, my only legend, you two are in charge. You both know what to do. So yeah, again, thank you all for coming to my first sign of a party. And people watching this beyond the fourth wall, thank you so much for watching. This episode took a long time to make. Uh, thank you all who patiently waited. Now that's out of the way, I can move on to the third episode. So yeah, that's all I can say. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy yourself.
<laughs> and nice food, Emerald. Yeah. <laughs>